right, in this video, this is T's Multiple Choice Math Review video number three. This example is similar to some of the examples in over 90 multiple choice questions that I have available in a full multiple choice math review. I also have a free sample as well. You can find the link to both of those in the description below. You can also find links to my T's Math website as well as a link to join my T's Math Facebook group. Those are in the description as well. So in this example, the average rate of change. We have a classic car that was purchased for $4,000 in 1960. It remained in mint condition over the years, causing it to reach a value of $90,000 in the year 2020. Using the table, what was the average rate of change in the value of the car from 1980 to 2020? So this question is asking us to find the average rate of change. What is the average rate of change? Well, there's multiple ways that we can actually define the average rate of change. For those of you that have taken algebra recently, maybe you're familiar with the word slope. That is the average rate of change, and that formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, if you don't understand what in the heck that means, it's okay. But very often with tables, we consider our first column x and our second column y. But again, if you don't understand that, it is fine. Let's look at the answer choices we have here. So this first answer choice is saying the average rate of change was $21,500 per year. Answer choice B, $2,025 per year. What I want you to notice for all of these answer choices, we have dollars per year. Well, what years are we talking about? We're talking about 1980 to the year 2020. So let's look at 1980 and the year 2020. In all honesty, we don't really care about 1960 nor the year 2000. So a way that we can avoid using this formula, I will tie it in right here in a moment, but a way that we can avoid it right now, if we look at dollars, notice the first thing we have in our answer is dollars. How much did the price change from 1980 to the year 2020? Well, it changed from $9,000 to $90,000. So let's think about that. So how much did it change? Let's take 90,000 and let's subtract 9,000. Therefore, that price change is $81,000. This represents how much the car appreciated in value from the year 1980 to the year 2020. So this is a dollar amount. Now the word per really means divide, like miles per hour means miles divided by hours. Dollars per year means dollars divided by years. So let's take that per into consideration and we are going to divide. And it's year, per year. Well, what years are we talking about? 1980 and the year 2020. Well, what is the difference between 1980 and the year 2020? Don't let the table deceive you here. You may say, well, it's just two or three difference between them. No, the year 2020, and the year 1980, there is a difference of 40 years between these two times. Check out what we have in this fraction. We have dollars per, and then we have year at the bottom. If we take $81,000 and we divide by 40 years, we're going to get a value that is equal to $2,025 per year. This is the answer to our question. Well, notice what we did here. Essentially, what we did do is we did take a Y value minus another Y value. We took 90,000 minus 9,000. So essentially, I'm calling this my Y2 and my Y1. Notice it kind of matches this formula. Y2 minus Y1, we took 90,000 minus 9,000. Well, if this is our Y2, we can call this our X2 and we will call this one our X1. And that's exactly what we did down here. X2 minus X1, we took 2020 minus 1980. And again, when we divided here, we got our answer of $2,025 per year. But now let me show you where you could make some mistakes. If you did not read this question carefully and say you found the average rate of change from 1960 to the year 2020. So a mistake you would make there is you would take the 90,000 minus the 4,000 taking 90,000 and subtracting 4,000, we have an appreciation value of $86,000. And then if we divided that by the amount of time from 1960 to the year 2020, 
The difference between 2020 and 1960, that is a difference of 60 years. So if we divide this by 60, look at this value. $1,433.33. That is one of our answer choices, so you have to be careful and make sure you're looking at the right time period. How could these other two choices pop up? Well, suppose you did pay attention to 1980 and the year 2020, so you're still looking at these two prices, the $90,000 and the $9,000. We've already said that difference was $81,000. Remember, we did that back here. But if you didn't pay attention to the years and you just counted one, two, three rows in our table, if we divide that by three, I've seen this mistake happen quite often. Check it out. That is not a correct answer. Because the difference is not three years, the difference from 1980 to the year 2020, that is 40 years. And then lastly, how could this one pop up? If you did not see 1980 and you thought 1960, well, let's take the 90,000 minus the 4,000. We've already said that was 86,000. And if you were looking at just the rows, you would say, okay, well, here's 1960, so we got one, two, three, four. If we divide this by four, you would end up getting that $21,500 per year. That is not correct. Think about this. If a car's value increased by $21,500 per year, per year now, in five years alone, the value of that car would be well over $100,000. But here's how I want you to think about it. Let's bounce back to 1980 because that's the year we're first interested in. $9,000. So that is the value of that car in 1980. Looking at our answer, $2,025 per year over the course of 40 years. So if we add on $2,025 per year over the course of 40 years, essentially we're multiplying by 40. And check out the value, we get $90,000. And to see that written out, how I was checking my work, a way you can kind of guess and check, we take that value of $9,000 and we're going to add on $2,025 per year, but we're talking about 40 years. And if you crunch this out using the order of operations, as I just showed you a moment ago, you will get $90,000, which is the value of that car in the year 2020. So there you have it, somewhat of a thorough explanation involving average rate of change. Now you can see this in tables, graphs, and all sorts of other things as well. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.